What's going on, Bato? It's me, your buddy Armando, back with another exciting episode of Nuevas. Today's news, World War III is about to begin, homie, and it all starts with the Triads and the Yakuza. Now let's get to it! Yeah, your buddy Armando! Nuevas! Hey there, Bato. Now I bet you're wondering why the Triads are pissed at the Yakuza's. Well come to find out that the Yakuza's decided to buy some islands behind the Triads back without them even knowing. And let me tell you something homie, when you do that to the Triads, you're asking for trouble. But then again, it is the Yakuza's who did it. And man, things are just gonna get worse from here. That was their first mistake, homes. You see, the Triads wanted to buy the islands so they could expand their poppy farming empire. But you know those lousy Yakuza always gotta get to it first. And to make matters worse, some other gangs like the Filipinos and Taiwanese decided to get involved with their cross-dressing friends. Mm. Who cares? Maybe that's got something to do with Tony Jaa, one of his latest movies. Come to find out that Yakuza decided to fend off the other gangs with their water guns. It was about 40 Taiwanese gangsters who decided to try to fight back with their Nerf guns. Only they couldn't handle the pressure. Now I'm not gonna lie, Holmes. If the Yakuza are using their water guns, you know shit's getting real. Now imagine the Triads and the Yakuza decide to have a one or good fight. It's gonna get pretty nasty pretty quick, Holmes. Now let's be clear. Things will start escalating very quickly and it's something both these gangs don't want. World War III. Or do they? You know, I bet those North Koreans want to get out some of this action. You know where they're claiming the nukes, you know the whole boom, boom, boom. Now this is where the war will start. Vato. The Triads will be on their boat and they'll look down at the sea where the Yakuza's are staying with their big smug faces and their awesome tattoos. The Yakuza's will start to flex their muscles while the Triads and their business who start to do the Gundam style dancing. You know the one in the video with the fat Chinese guy? The one where the Gundams do the hokey pokey? Now this is where it gets really nasty vatos. Because one of the Yakuza's will yell, Hey! Why are you dancing with our Gundams? We invented that! And then the Triads will be like, because we stole it! What you gonna do about it? And when they insult the Yakuza will get so angry, they'll pull out their samurai swords, look at the sun, and have the sun flick back and blind one of the Gundam dancers on the Triad ship, and he'll fall over. If there's anything I know, Holmes, it's the fact that you don't mess with anybody who's doing a Gundam style dance. It tends to get bullets flying and people ducking. And that's exactly what happens. The, the Treyas will pull out their guns and start shooting at the Yakuza's. But their, gun, but their bullets will be no match for the power of the Yakuza Samurai and Ninja Sword Fighters who will block every bullet like in the Matrix. Until the North Koreans see their Triad buddies having problems with the Yakuza. They'll grab their nuke, they'll throw it in the air, drop it in the water and let it blow up. But though, it'll get everyone all wet and radiated. At that moment, Vato, everybody will be confused, including me, until they will come on their high ceiling arrests. The mighty Cholos, you know, the Aztec warriors. And with them, they'll be carrying on their side in their tribal canoes. Their hyenas will carry out their awesome tribal spears. They will come up out of nowhere. Look at both sides, and both sides, the triads and the Yakuza's will realize that they're nothing against the Cholo warriors. They will bow their heads and head back to their native lands. Never mention anything about some islands again, because the Cholos have taken over for new and improved drug smuggling and corona drinking. Now I bet you're wondering what happened to the North Koreans. Don't worry, they blew themselves up a long time ago with their little nukes. And the Taiwanese gangsters, well, they got really wet, so they ended up dying at sea with a fever. But what you will remember, homie, from all this storytelling of me is the fact that you will remember the Cholo warriors who gave their lives for getting those islands for you 
and how they saved the world from World War III. Now, homie, now that I've told you about World War III, I bet you're wondering, if there was a World War III, who would win it, and what country do you think would be a part of it? I really want to know. You should let me know in the link below, or the little comments, you know what I'm saying? And if you like this video, like it, because you are supporting your number one cholo. And if you don't, well, I guess you don't. But if you really like me, homie, and you want to show everyone about me, you subscribe, pato, at the top. Or share me with your friends, so they can get to know this cholo, Armando Mondes. So, until next time, see you later.